Hi, this is Marita from Ruby Soup with Pearl Juice, and today I am bringing you a very short vlog review of a 2017 Zambian movie called I Am Not a Witch. This film is written and directed by Rungano Nuoni. Rungano Nuoni has done a lot of international short films and this is her debut in a long film. I Am Not a Witch follows a young orphan girl called Shula who is accused by a village of witchcraft and due to this accusation she is then forced into a situation where she can choose to be turned into a goat or to join a witch community and she chooses the latter. And the witch community that Shula then becomes a part of consists of women of different ages, uh, but Shula is the only child in this community, where these women are very heavily controlled with where they can go and they are forced to wear a little tie around their back and it is li further linked to a string that is like very similar to what you would have on a kite. It's that kind of system. And then these women basically do a lot of menial labor and such and tourists come to, to see them and such. But because Shula is a what they call a child witch, then the minister who runs this witch community, he decides to parade Shula around to solve crimes and to appear on TV and such. So this is a film that very much deals with real life um, issues. A lot of countries like uh, Zambia, but also places like Ghana and even Saudi Arabia, people are still today accused of witchcraft and depending on the country, then these accusations play out very differently. And I can just say off the bat that the things that this movie shows, I think it's a little bit exaggerated in certain areas. I think a lot of it is based on facts, but I think there are certain scenes that are a little bit um, exaggerated for the purpose of telling a story. And I am actually not much of an expert on this issue, so I won't be able to comment on that. But there, there's a very interesting kind of combination of like discussing real life issues with social commentary and mixing that in with a sort of magical realist slant. And the movie is very experimental. Like for instance, there's a scene where Shula tries to escape the witch community for the first time. The camera is actually focusing on some trees while you hear the struggle between Shula and the men who are catching her to the side. And there's other scenes where the camera just rolls for a really, really long time in, in order for you to kind of like get the sense of anxiety and frustration. And, it, and all of this works really, really well. It actually makes the movie like really interesting to watch. And it also kind of gives you a very good sense of what Shula is going through as a person because she is actually very stoic. And the camera is more the one who is informing the audience of how she feels and how she experiences things. There's also a very interesting thing about, about power and about gender in this movie. And it's very complicated. While the witch community is kind of like bossed around by a minister who is a male, then the minister himself has to get permission to do certain things from the queen. And he is subordinate to her and the queen sometimes does very cruel decisions about the witch communities and she does very cruel decisions about Shula. So the film is very interesting in that it kind of shows this very misogynistic community where these women are treated as pariah for very banal, very not all that uh, convincing accusations, usually just because a certain community doesn't happen to like them per se. Like for instance, Shula is accused of being a witch, a witch by a small town just because she is an orphan child and this happens to show up when there's a lot of small little accidents. 
And there's even another scene where it is implied that one of the women who is at this witch community got accused of being a witch by her daughter's boyfriend. And it's um it's very it's very funny scene, but it's also very tragic when the daughter shows up to to sell things to these witches and she brings her boyfriend and the and the mother is throwing stuff at him and telling her daughter like oh why are you with this guy he i'm suffering because of him and the daughter's like well i can't help it mom i love him <laughs> so there is like a very clear misogynistic slant to this whole situation but it's very complicated on who is actually causing the oppression of these women because the minister is exploiting is these women and, all, and specifically shula he is exploiting shula and these women but the queen is actually the one who is actually saying that, oh, well, the witches can't be allowed to do this and the witches can't do that. And she strips rights away from these women. And I thought that that was very interesting how it's like not so clear cut about where the problem is actually steaming from. And there's a very interesting scene also, or there's quite a few scenes about this, about tourism. And the movie has a very critical view on the objectifying gaze that tourists give. They show up to places and they don't really understand what they're looking at. And they're being very condescending and very like projecting a very rich gaze on on lower class people. And I thought that that was like really biting. And I thought that that was also like so well done in the movie where these tourists are coming and really not understanding just how horrible these women in these in this witch community have it and they're just kind of like thinking like oh it's so wacky and it's so weird and it's yeah and it's it's really painful but i thought that that was a very interesting critique of tourism like i'm not against tourism i travel a lot myself but i do think that there are problematic aspects in it especially when it comes to like a class perspective so I thought that that was very good that this movie was taking up a little bit more of a critical view of it and one thing that I kind of was wondering a little bit about is that because this movie was kind of marketed as criticizing the western exotification of an African culture but a lot of these tourists that come and objectify Shula and the other witches and kind of are condescending towards them like some of them were people of color so i i was wondering if it was like talking about not only the western gaze but also about the gaze that the rich project on the poor and maybe it was actually talking about how those two things sometimes happen at the same time so uh yeah actually if anyone else has seen this movie then i would actually like to hear your thoughts on that you can comment down below before i wrap this up that I do really recommend that you go see this movie, but if you don't like movies where bad things happen to children, uh, then I would recommend that you skip it because things don't really work out for Shula so well in this movie. And while a lot of the scenes are very funny, then there's also a lot of scenes where the way she's exploited and the way she's kind of mistreated and especially like what they do like how she's not not even given a right to an education like that just really is really painful to watch and also the ending is really brutal so if you don't like movies where bad things happen to children like at all then i would be wary of this film so that was my review of i am not a witch i have to say i think that i actually learned a lot from this movie and it really got me thinking about things and I think it's actually a really interesting movie to discuss, so if any of you have seen this movie, then I would love to hear your thoughts. Comment down below. I would love to get a discussion going. If you like this video, click the like button, subscribe, and I'll talk to you later.